Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Government has approved the establishment of an autonomous body, Mera Yuva Parat, for development of youth and youth-led development. It will provide equitable access to youth to actualize their aspirations and build Vixit Parat. Briefing reporters in New Delhi after the Cabinet meeting yesterday, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur said that there are nearly 40 crore youth in the country who are in the age group of 15 to 29 years. He said it will serve as an overarching enabling mechanism powered by technology for youth development. Thakur said it seeks to harness the immense youth energy for nation building by enabling youth to act as you were said to between government and the citizens. The minister said this Mera Yuva Parad will be dedicated to the nation on 31st October on the occasion of the birth anniversary of Sadar Vallabhai Patel. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio called on Union Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs, Petroleum and Natural Gas, Hardip Singh Puri, in New Delhi yesterday. Taking to X, Rio said, both discussed about urban development matters, petroleum exploration and production activities in Nagaland. He thanked the Union Minister Puri for his continued support. Chief Minister Rio also met with Union Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Coal and Mines, Pralat Joshi. Rio said he had a productive meeting with Joshi and added that they discussed matters related to coal and mining in Nagaland which will benefit the people of the state. Officials from Election Commission of India are on a two-day visit to Nagaland. Principal Secretary ECI Arvind Anand and Secretary Santosh Kumar Dubey arrived in the state yesterday for field verification of the special summary revision of electoral rolls with respect to 1st of January 2024, first level checking FLC of EVM and VVPAT machines. They will also review the poll preparedness of the upcoming parliamentary election 2024. The ECI officials upon arrival conducted separate review meetings yesterday with DEOs, EROs, AEROs, supervisors and PLOs of Dimapu, Chamukidima and Kohima districts. The visiting officials will undertake a field visit to various polling stations in Kohima town today, followed by a review meeting with all the district election officers and thereafter an inspection of FLC activities in Kohima and Zeminu districts. In the violence hit Manipur, the state government has decided to extend the ban on mobile internet and data services through VPN till the evening of the 16th of this month to stop the spread of disinformation and false rumours. An order issued from the State Home Department said that there is apprehension that some anti-social elements might use social media extensively for transmission of images, hate speech and video messages inciting the passions of the public which might have serious repercussions for the law and order situation in the state. In Bihar, four passengers killed and over 100 injured when eight bookies of Northeast Superfast Express train derailed at 9.35 p.m. last evening near Rakunatpur railway station in Baksa district. The train number 12506 was going to Kamakya Junction from Ananda Vihar Terminal, New Delhi. Talking to Agashwani News, Baksa district magistrate Anshul Agarwal has confirmed the casualties. The district magistrate said relief and rescue operations are in full swing at the accident site. Severely injured passengers are being taken to Ames Patna for better treatment. Indian Railways has issued helpline numbers. Patna helpline 9771-449971, Danapur helpline 890-5697-493, Arha helpline is 8306-182542. People can also contact at Commercial Control Helpline number 7759-070004. India has set up a 24-hour control room in New Delhi to monitor the situation and provide information and assistance to its nationals. 
The move follows concerns about the safety of Indian nationals in the region following the launch of a massive military operation by Israel to retaliate against attacks by Hamas militants last weekend. Indian nationals can contact a control room set up in the Ministry of External Affairs on toll-free number 1800-118797 and phone number 9111-230-12113. They can also seek assistance through email situationroom at mea.gov.in. In addition, Embassy of India in Tel Aviv has also set up a 24-hour emergency helpline which can be accessed by contacting on 972-3522-6748. Further Representative Office of India in Ramallah has also set up a 24-hour emergency helpline and can be accessed on contact number 970-5929-16418. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.